is your mother, Marion? Of course she can come and stay if she wants to. But she'll do all those horrible things. Like what, man? Like tidying up. My mother could tidy up for England. If you put her in a totally dust-free vacuum that hadn't been visited by any living organism since the creation of the universe, she'd still come out with two bin bags full of rubbish. What? Don't you love her, then? Of course I do. When she's in Scarborough. Anyway, she doesn't know what I do. Why on earth don't you tell her, then? She wouldn't understand, little Ron. She's respectable. She's so straight, if she lay on an exercise book, you could use her to draw the margin. So what does she think you do, then? She thinks... Come on! She thinks I'm a dental receptionist. <laughs> <laughs> well, if that's what she thinks, that's what you'll have to be, isn't it? For the state of Luxembourg, all Luxembourgers sing and let our heroes deeds throughout the rest of Europe ring. A man from Luxembourg once came 37th in the Tour de France, and in this year's Eurovision Song Contest, we stand quite a good chance. Hurrah for the state of Luxembourg! Guy, will you please stop moaning? She's coming today, and we haven't even finished rehearsing our national anthem yet. Who's coming? The Countess of Luxembourg for the 90th time. Well, I've never heard of silly old Luxembourg. Of course you have. It's the size of one of its boring postage stamps. It's full of cows and it's got a mountain with a minstrel on top who balls the top 40 across the English Channel all night long. Oh. And please stop moaning. But it's my toothy peg. It's really hurting me. Oh. Gary, get him some cloves for his tooth. What, like a little hatch, you mean? And a little red pullover and stripy gloves? Oil of cloves, idiot. It puts the tooth to sleep. You could tell it one of your funny stories, sir. They always put me to sleep. Huh? Right. Once upon a time, the Countess of Luxembourg arrived and Gary and Graham weren't ready for her. So they were hung up by their toes from the ceiling, had silver bells shoved up their noses and were used as highly original Christmas decorations. The end! Now get on with it! We can't, sire. Why not? Graham's fallen asleep, sire. There you go, Barrington. You're a national health dentist, so you get that one. Meat man. And I'm private, so I get the one with a fur collar. Oh, wow, do we look the business or what? Drill, please. One drill, coming up. <coughs> Emma, be careful. Don't want to smash it to pieces. There you go. Hey, looks great, doesn't it? Yeah, but what I don't really understand is why the dentists have to wait, do you? Excuse me, have you seen the dentist? No, I'm frightened I might need a filling. Oh, haven't I come to the right place? Of course you have, madam. I'm Chief Dentist Robin, and I've got about seven dentisting certificates on my wall, you know. Uh, this is Dentist Barrington, Dentist Little Ron. And uh, I'm rabies, aren't I? Of course you are. And you're a dentist too, aren't you? No. No, how silly of me. He's a hygienist. What, with those teeth? No, I mean, he uses his hands. Morning, dentist. Hey, it's made Marion our dental receptionist. Mom! Marion, pet. Oh, mm, it's good to see you. Oh, doesn't she look lovely? She's got to be really pretty once she's lost her puppy fat. <laughs> now, which of these handsome hunks is your boyfriend, then? I hate guests. Why shouldn't I put my feet up on the table? No reason at all, my lord. I merely suggested that you don't start dusting your athlete's foot until the Countess has finished her pudding. Hey! Now, shall I comb my hair? Which one, my lord? What are they doing? Extracting Guy's mouldy tooth, my lord. She's a woman, isn't she? Uh, no, my lord. I know he's got a squeaky voice and sometimes dresses up in a party frock and start right sandals, but Guy is definitely a boy. Not Guy, this Luxembourg creature. Oh, yes, my lord. She's certainly a woman. Please. But if she's a woman, she'll fancy me, won't she? Is that 100% certain, my lord? Of course. I'm a hunky sort of guy, aren't I? Suppose she tries to pick me up. 
Never fear, my lord. She'll rupture her stomach muscles. But that does give me an idea, my lord. How would you feel if when she left, she took Guy with her? Why, have they run out of village idiots over there? No, my lord, as her husband. How would I feel? How would I feel as though a great weight had been lifted off my shoulders? As though next door's whiny puppy that had been keeping me awake for the past 18 months had been miraculously put to sleep by a vet with a food mixer. What a brilliant idea! <laughs> Go and fetch her. Pardon, my lord? She arrives at Grimsby in three hours. But, my lord, Grimsby is 20 miles away. Exactly! So you'd better hurry up, hadn't you? Certainly, Your Majesty. Gary, Graham, hurry up, follow me. Yes, sir. Come inside. Ah! Oh! You're right, Guy. No, it's still there. <laughs> <laughs> and then when she was three, she'd do this other funny thing. She'd stand on the table. Recite this little piggy at the top of her voice, then lift up her dress so that everyone could see her podgy little legs. <laughs> <laughs> Mum, who'd like an acorn fritter fresh out of the oven? Oh, those look lovely, Marion. <laughs> Do you know what I've got? Some homemade chocolate flapjacks. Oh, uh, yes, please. Nice one, Mum. So who'd like a fritter? Sorry, me old love. Got to keep room with some of these wicked flapjacks. Robin, you hate flapjacks. You once told me you'd rather eat the leftovers from a warthog stag party. Mm, that was before I had a nibble on your mother's. Can I score another flapjack, man? Hey, leave one for me. Just a minute, just a minute. I've got something to say. Is it this little piggy? I love the bit where that one goes wee, wee, wee all the way home. Mum and I are going shopping, aren't we, Mum? Oh, no, we we're having such a good time. Can I come? Yeah, we can all go. Yeah. yeah. On our own. We want to have a little girly chat, don't we, Mum? Isn't that a bit sexist, sweetheart? I think it is, actually, Marion. Don't you just love it when your mum comes? I love the way you carved up that pig back there, Gary. <laughs> yeah. Roast potatoes were a bit hard, though, weren't they? Yeah, I know I got one full in the face. Oh, people shouldn't throw dangerous objects at you, should they, just because you've run over their pet? Hey, you could take someone's eye out. I suppose you could. What to the pictures, you mean? Come on, we've got 14 miles to go yet. Oh, wait a finger-licking minute. Is that who I think it is? Yes. And who's that revolting old hag with her? And this is the Arndale Centre. You have a look round the shops and I'll go and pay the vegetable man. Nice, isn't it? Oh, we've got everything here, Mum. Sainsbury's, Mother Care. Boots? No, McDonald's. Oh, what's that? Ah, there's the vegetable man. I won't be long. Well, well, well. Marion has a mother, has she? What a nice piece of bait that could prove to be. You two, get off to Grimsby. I've got bigger fish to fry. You could fry really huge fish in Grimsby, sire. Go! Well, the master moves into action. Excuse me, is this the B&Q? I don't know, my dear. I'm just window shopping. Good morrow, gentle mistress. I fancy your comely face is a stranger to these parts, is it not? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I just popped down from Scarborough, actually. Then all Scarborough must be mourning its loss. Then I thought I'd see how my daughter was getting on, you know. Tish, you jest, my pretty one. Thou art too young to have a daughter. Dost thou not mean a Cindy doll, perhaps? Get off. I'm 46. Forty-six. Tis a miracle. Such smooth skin, such flaxen hair, such a nice cardigan. Ian, are you trying it on? Certainly not, my sweet one. T'would not fit me. But wrapped around your heavenly frame, tis a cardigan of the gods. Are you chatting me up, you little beggar? From the moment I saw you, I swore you would make me foolhardy. How I wanted to loosen your hair and to take off your cardi. There's never been a moment like moment this. Moment like this. 
Now oh, absolute bliss. Absolutely. I've been pierced, I've been pierced, I've been pierced, I've been pierced, I've been pierced through my heart by your eyes. He's been pierced, he's been pierced, he's been pierced, he's been pierced. He's been pierced. I've been pierced through my heart by your eyes. You shot the sheriff, and the sheriff doesn't care if he lives, if he lives or he dies. He's been pierced, he's been pierced, he's been pierced, he's been pierced. I've been pierced through my heart by your eyes. He's sighing and crying to stop him from dying. Please give me the ultimate prize. I've got to look into your eyes. What a lovely song. Have a chocolate flapjack. <sighs> Grimsby, pearl of the East Coast. How exciting to be amongst the hurly-burly of a thriving English seaport. I'd rather it was a mouth, though, really. You'd rather what was a mouth? The thing I took to the pictures. Oh. Be something to talk to, wouldn't it? And you never know. Back row and everything. I might school. They wouldn't let you play football in the pictures. Are you telling me you've been asked out by a man? Yes. We hope you told him where to get off. Yes, Chesterfield. I thought I'd like to see a coal mine before King John closes them all down. Mum, that's disgusting. I know. He hasn't liked the miners since they tunnelled into his castle and tipped half a ton of anthracite down his trousers. You can't go out with someone you've only just met. It's... Well, it's tarty. No, it isn't. Arnold's very respectable. But you're my mother, for goodness sake. But there's only one thing for it. I'll have to meet him and see what his intentions are. Funny. He thought you'd say that. He said he'd be over at the chemist's. He's going to buy me a pair of odour eaters, bless him. Uh, man from Luxembourg once came 37th in the Tour de France. And in this year's Eurovision Song Contest, we stand quite a good chance. So who run for the state of Luxembourg or Luxembourgers sing? And let our heroes deeds throughout the rest of Europe ring! <whistles> I'm asked in front, Your Majesty! <coughs> Graham, it's a vast behind. I know, but I didn't want to upset her. Arnold? Arnold? Anyone in there called Arnold? Hello, my dear. Would you like something for your bad throat? I haven't got a bad throat. Well, you will have soon. I am Arnold. How awful! What? To die at my hands? No, to be called Arnold. And what a stupid name! Well, it's not as stupid as maid. What's that short for? Made in South Korea? It means innocent young lady, actually. Exactly. A mummy's girl. How do you think I knew you'd come? You couldn't bear the thought of your mother going out with a real man, could you? <laughs> ha! What a nauseating child you must have been. Are there any more little odd jobs you'd like me to do, Mummy? Shall I give half my Kit Kat to the poor people, Mummy? It wasn't like that at all. And I bet you were the sort of child who used to stand on the table and recite this little piggy. I most certainly was not. Arnold, what are you doing? Very often. Push off, wrinkly. Fold yourself up and get back in the kitchen drawer with all the other old bags. Oh, but you said you wanted to take me out. Take you out? I'd rather take out the garbage. I used you, darling. I used you so I could capture your daughter. Why? So I could hang her up in my torture chamber till she's almost as old and ugly as you are. Now, you must excuse me, ladies. The Countess of Luxembourg is coming to tea, and I'd like a quick half-hour's workout on the thumbscrews before she arrives. Come on! <laughs> there! Now, don't say Uncle Johnny never does anything for you. I've arranged for you to get married this afternoon. What? To a pretty witty girly, were they? Yep, so she's not going to want to snog someone who looks like he's just swallowed a tennis ball, is she? So let's get this little blighter out. One, a two, a three, blast off! Oh. Whoops. Oh. 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 
Receptionist off today, and we've mislaid our files. It's all right, I found them. <laughs> oh. <laughs> now, you haven't been looking after your teeth properly, have you, man? <laughs> well, shall I show you how to brush them? <laughs> you take a teeny weeny dustpan like this, and a teeny weeny brush like that, and then you. Boys! Marion's been kidnapped. What am I going to do? What you need is a small army of, of sharpshooting, devil-may-care guerrilla fighters, isn't it? I know, but where am I going to find them? If life is bad and you want to quit, who are you going to call? Call the dentist. Because he's got a tube that sucks up spit. Who are you going to call? Call the dentist. Excuse me, have you had your six month dental checkup? Uh, oh. Well, I think you better have it now, don't you? If your teeth drop out and your gums do too, who are you gonna call? Call the dentist. He'll stick them back oh, oh. with super glue. Who are you gonna call? Call the dentist. OK, see you again in six months. She's supposed to be a countess? Yeah. She hasn't got a crown. Well, don't worry, I'll make her one. Maybe do a bit of bridge work and a few fillings, too. Call the dentist! Right. Take it away. <laughs> My lords, ladies and gentlemen, Countess Schwarzenegger of Luxembourg. <laughs> well, what do you think? Oh, Lummy, she's as scrummy as the squidgy bit in that Jaffa cake. So you'll marry her? Oh, yummy with knobs on. What? I think that's idiot speak for I will, my lord. Right. Countess, this is my nephew, Guy of Gisborne. He's got the brains of a retarded jellyfish, but he's loaded and he's not married. Do you want him? Certainly, your highness. I gladly accept him. As my fiancé. Good Lord, these oh. Europeans are thick, aren't they? No wonder we English run rings around them every time. <laughs> what, like in the 1186 World Cup, you mean, sire? Shut up, Gary. And the 1182 World Cup. Shut up, Graham. Well, I'll just toddle off and dust me athlete's foot. Come on, guy, you can hold open my toes. Guess so, that a big nuisance of flies on your bread pudding. A man of few words, but all of them rather disgusting. I do apologise. Now, is there anything I can do for you? Kiss me! I'm sorry? You are some blind fool. Why do you think I am here? I have worshipped you from afar all my life. Your name isn't Beadle, is it? I could swear your face was familiar. Only in your dreams, Arnold. I love everything about you. Your nose, your ears, <laughs> your cute little beard, like the behind parts of a bunny rabbit. <laughs> Marry me, and let us fly to Luxembourg. Well, I'm not sure how... I mean, I understand the way you feel, of course, obviously, but... Uh, no, King John would never allow it. I shouldn't think your wife would be too impressed either, sire. Shut up, Gary. But I would shower you with my love. No, thank you. And my kisses. Best not. And my millions of gold pieces. No, it's quite out of the... Ah. What exactly did you have in mind? Oh, an elopement. Me, Count Arnold of Schwarzenegger. I'm going to make you so happy. I'm going to tax all your peasants. I'm going to strangle your irritating minstrel. But your king, he will be very angry, yes? Certainly. Extremely angry, yes. I've written him a very amusing farewell letter. Tough, cookie, fat bottom, it says. I'm marrying Guy's bird myself. Go bury your head in a barrel of mouldy fish heads. <laughs> oh, Sheriff, you are so witty. I know. And from now on, I'm going to have you in stitches every night. 
Here we are. This way, my love. Just stay where you are, Sheriff. Who are you? I'm Robin Hood, and these are my merry dentists. Got in with your life, Mum. Mum? Yes. Ah, uh, Marion's mum. The old bag fit only for the kitchen drawer, remember? But don't move a muscle, parrot features. But because if you do, we'll give you the biggest filling you've ever had in your entire life. Hello. My toothy hurts. Would anyone like... Oh, it's gone. This is it, I suppose. Oh, how embarrassing to be put to death when you've got your mother staying. Why couldn't someone save me? Anyone would do, as long as he was good looking and a little bit, you know, sulky, with a couple of days stubble and a pair of really tight... Don't worry, my Robin of Kensington will save you. Oh, blimey, not you. I'd rather stay up here, thanks. But you were shouting for help. No, I wasn't. You were? I was not so. Come on, do you want to be busted or what? My tooth is all throbby. Please help me, someone. Excuse me, are you a dentist? Yeah. Then could you take my tooth out, please? Sure. <laughs> Where'd you be about the National Health Service, eh, Guy? Thank you! You really thought I'd marry you? I'd rather have an all-over body rub from a nightmare on Elm Street. You tell him, sister. I used you, darling. I used you so that I could free my daughter. Thanks, Mum. You'll never get away with this. When King John hears about it, there'll be big trouble. Not again! See what I mean? Can you come here, please? I've just read your little note. Uh. Right, I'd better be off. Oh, you're doing you're doing you're doing you're doing you? Oh, come on, boys. She said she's got to go. Don't make things difficult for her. I understand, Mum. You'll be needing a rest, won't you? Life is a bit hectic here, isn't it? <laughs> you call it hectic? You should see what we get up to in Scarborough. Oh, Thrill City? Come on, Mum. Scarborough's as dead as William the Conqueror. No, there's a little gang of us now. Me, your Uncle Dick, Auntie Betty and Mrs Rumbold from number 63. What? Bingo? Walks on the prom? You old tearaways. No, love. A gang. We rob from the young and give to the old. Mrs Rumbold's the most wanted woman in Pontefract since the great wheelchair robbery. What? Oh, it's much more exciting than dentistry. You ought to try it sometime. The trouble with Marion is, she's always been a teeny bit straight, haven't you, love? Marion!